On rainy days, Butch Thurman has to settle for pictures as a way to visit the family farm where he grew up. I've got three brothers, no sisters, and we all worked on the farm all of our life. In fact, his walls are covered in photos of the people who've been there. They was right there. That's a family farm to give to us. Our folks were important. There, through the good times and the bad. It just hit me. I mean, I couldn't hardly go. It just took my breath, more or less. Just pain in my stomach, turmoil. The pain that first sent Butch to the doctor was an attack of pancreatitis. It's not usually caused by cancer, but in Butch's case, it was a fortunate warning sign. Scans showed a mass, stage two pancreatic cancer. At University of Missouri Healthcare's Ellis Fischel Cancer Center, a team of surgeons, medical oncologists, and radiologists met at a conference like this one to decide the best course of treatment. We've got different disciplines in cancer therapy that all have effectiveness, but it's only through combining them appropriately uh, that we really give the patient the best chance of cure. And uh, you know, a place like Ellis Fischel, we bring those teams together. Butch met with his doctors to discuss the plan. Surgery to remove the pancreas, followed by chemotherapy. It was a tough road, but it worked. Yeah, you went home five days after the surgery and you really tolerated the whole thing just great. Well, I'd say I'm doing wonderful as far as the cancer operation. Yeah. I'd say the good Lord was on my side. This January will mark four years since Butch's surgery. Years filled with laughter, games, and family. Patients and primary care physicians have the impression that pancreas cancer is untreatable, and uh, that is not the case. The, the treatments are very well tolerated, and they offer a very real chance for cure. And that, that's probably the most important message we could deliver. And with a little hope, what started as a bad hand can turn into a win. Keep on going. I ain't gonna give up. <laughs>